Hello and welcome to the smooth sounds of the Rhino Jungle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm Matthew Toronto and I'm Michael Toronto and we provide the soft, sensual commentary of Piranha Jungle. <laughs> well, it's, sounds a little like Kramer there for a second. Oh, giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> I guess there's nothing more more smooth and sensual than a piranha. Oh yeah. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> All right, so this level uh, provided a little bit of a dilemma for us because uh, we wanted a, a different type of boss than the Barracuda, but Barracudas are already known for their aggression and their uh, ferocity, and exactly. so are piranhas. So we, yeah. you know, we wanted a way to distinguish them. So uh, what we ended up deciding on was the piranhas would kind of have a different sort of personality because they would work together. They would, As a team. Yeah. yeah, they would form up and attack you that way. And so that led to uh, some pretty crazy choices like their their belly flopping attack and most notably the piranha, piranha gun. gun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure really where that came from. I think one of us just suggested it one day. And we're I, like, I think we, we were thinking, well, why not? Why not put it in the game? I mean, we're making the game. We yeah, it's our game. Just, we might as well just put in a piranha yeah, gun. Yeah, it was, was kind of like... Can, can we do can that? We do can that? We and it's like, make it sure, sure, it's our game. Sure, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so yeah, so we put it in there, and I think that's kind of where we where we want to go with it. We want to go a little bit, a little zany with this level, uh, meaning that you already had the scary boss. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, when initially the boss for this level was going to be a singing plant. Right? Oh, like, Audrey, Audrey, kind of like an Audrey too. Oh yeah, but can we say that? Can we say Audrey uh, too? I don't think so. I, I think uh, getting our time machine again. Oh, great Scott! Go, go back in time. Don't, don't switch Audrey too. You're gonna get sued. Oh, Oh jeez, Doc. Oh jeez. Yeah, so, so, uh... Wait, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, the singing plant. Yeah, we decided against that because the next level is uh, Thunder Creek. And exactly. we didn't want to have two sung songs in a row and no, sort that of diminish from the from impact of Thunder Creek, which we didn't want to do because we like it. Um, so, we, yeah, we decided, uh, you know, we got sort of the personality for the uh, piranhas down pat, and after that the music sort of became its own thing. Originally, it was going to be a much more ominous theme, yeah. but I noticed near this part of the game, a lot of the songs in a row were all in kind of minor key, so I wanted something a little funky to sort of break it up. It made it a little tricky, because this is a boss fight, but uh, I think I think it ended up being a unique level and a unique feel for the game. Well, we kept and we kept in uh, a good bit of the elements that we initially thought. For example, the piranhas are still singing here. Um, well, not the I'm not the proud of the piranha plants. Sorry. They, Great Scott, we gotta go back in time again. <laughs> no, I'm not piranha plant. <laughs> the Venus, the Venus fly, fly trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They okay, have nothing thank you. to nothing do to with, with piranha someone plant. else's game. La 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 la. <laughs> Moving on. That part reminds me of Bob's Burgers. So anyway, how do you defeat piranhas as a little tadpole? Well, we determine there you is can't. you can't. So the only way is to really feed them enough to go away. So mm -hmm. that's where we introduce they satiate their hunger. Exactly, the element of the fruits. Which by now you probably know you have to hit and then hit again. Yeah, and if you don't, that, that chubby one's coming after you. Man. Yeah, you're gonna. You're actually not gonna be able to beat the level. They're gonna get you before the level yeah. ends. Um, so, all right. Well, thank you. Great Scott. 